It's recording. And it's recording while we can edit it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you want to say. Well, I know what I want to say, so why don't you just not say anything? <laughs> I was planning on not saying anything. Okay. So, Jay, uh, hi, this is Mike and John, uh, father and son, um, and this is what's in our garage. It's a 1973 Opal GT that uh, we just picked up a couple of weeks ago. Um, we've uh, we've actually worked with Opal GTs for quite some time. Um, however, this project hopefully will will come to fruition. We haven't had a, a good chance to do a father and son project uh, uh, because uh, we've been I've been in the military for a number of years, and uh, Jonathan here just started his military career too. So we've been kind of kind of pressed for time and, and trying to get these things completed. But this is uh, where Jonathan here is a third generation Opal GT owner. Uh, my father had a 72 uh, and I've owned a 71, 72, uh, a couple of different bodies. I think we've totaled out about five, five cars completely. Um, just never got one. We've had, we had one completely running. Um, back in 1985-86, uh, but we're hoping to get this one. This is going to be a, what we call a resto mod. Uh, we're going to restore it uh, with just a few modifications. Um, and let's go ahead and show you the car here. So I'm going to grab the camera and we'll walk around the car. Okay. So for those that don't know what an Opel GT is, an Opel GT uh, was designed by the same designer of the Corvette, uh, the Stingray Corvette. Uh, they were both modeled after the Mako Shark, uh, believe it or not. Um, hey John, show them the, uh, what's unique about the Opel GTs. Um, and that the, the headlights pop up like that. Um, back when we were kids, we used to call it a frog because that's the way it looked like with the eyes up. Uh, this particular one, 73, not too, bo too bad on the body. Um, the engine is up on a block uh, right now. So we've got, uh, got a lot of restoration, but not too much body work. A couple of, couple of dings, a couple of, couple of spots that need modification. Uh, not, we're not going to modify the body at all. We're just going keep it, to keep it the way it is. So... Um, but it's uh, Opel GT had a four, four-cylinder, 1900 cc motor. Um, nice thing about these things is they're, we've got some parts places that we can get uh, some some parts from. Uh, out in California, we've got Opel GT Source and Opel's Unlimited, which tend to supply the groups with uh, some nice parts. Uh, a number of guys in our group from OpalGT.com tend to uh, help out a lot. We've got some guy by the name of Otto Bardish who's helped a lot with wiring, uh, and a guy by the name of Rally Bob who uh, does a lot with uh, helping the Opal community and keep these things up and running. And not just the GTs, but the Mantas and the Escanas and the wagons. So. Um, We've got uh, a little bit of work, but this is a good solid body for us to start with, and uh, uh, we're going to be uh, keeping posted some some of our changes on uh, on our Opal community group, uh, opalgt.com, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll see you out there. Thanks.